and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a very highly demanded video and one that I've been meaning to film for a very long time now. And it is my pregnancy must have items. I don't have that much here. I feel like I was one of the lucky ones. I had a fairly easy pregnancy so far. But these items here that I have are items I absolutely could not be living without while pregnant. So if you guys are interested in what I have to show here, keep on watching. First, quick little disclaimer, I have a really bad cold. Obviously, I have a lot of makeup on, so you probably can't tell, <laughs> but I am stuffy. My eyes are watering a lot, and these lights are definitely making them water even more. So if I'm touching my eyes a lot or sniffling, I'm going to try to edit that out and not do it as much as possible, but bear with me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So first things first, I wanted to gather all of my items from like first trimester all the way till now. Tomorrow I'm going to be 35 weeks, which is mind blowing. I cannot believe that I'm 35 weeks pregnant. Like I'm going to have a baby in the next month. Absolutely insane. But it took me a while to like think of everything um, that like I used the whole entire time. Some of these products I don't even touch anymore, but I still had some of them are newer items to like being in the third trimester. So basically whatever stage you are in your pregnancy, this is a good video to watch because I cover everything. I've gone through first, second, and now I'm in my third and at the very end of the pregnancy, which is crazy. But these are the items that I personally could not live without being pregnant. So basically the first trimester is where I'm going to start. One of the first things that I bought when I found out I was pregnant was Preggy Pops. One of my biggest fears while being pregnant, other than like miscarriage, stillborn, all that horrible, horrible things, was morning sickness. I was so afraid of getting sick every single day, feeling nauseous. So the second I found out I was pregnant, I ran out to the store and I picked up Preggy Pops because I'm like, if there's any moment that I get nauseous and I don't have something to help me, I'm gonna die. So I went out and I got these. These are just like the variety one. It's sour raspberry, green apple, sour lemon, and sour tangerine. These are so good. I, I wouldn't say that they're sour. Um, they're definitely like a tart mist to them. They're super sugary. There's no medicine in these by any means. It's really just like a super sweet tart hard candy. So realistically, you don't need Preggy Pop brand, I would say. I think you could get away with having like just sucking on a hard candy when my friends right now has morning sickness and she said that she has been doing like suckers or hard candies that she has around because these, they do charge more for these because preggy pop. So it's like directed for pregnancy. Whenever something's directed towards pregnancy, for some reason they charge more, but I just bought these. This was my second pack and I actually still had a lot. I was thankfully blessed not to get morning sickness. Thank God. But I did have like nauseous moments where I would get like really like upset stomach. I thought I was going to throw up. Um, that I just felt really just gross. So whenever I felt like that, I would pop one of these in my mouth and it would make me feel better. One thing I did get in the first trimester was headaches. I had such bad headaches. And I think a part of that was I went from drinking a ton of caffeine every single day. I mean, like start my morning off with a coffee, had a lunch, a Coke for lunch, had a Coke when I got home with my snack, had a Coke when I uh, ate dinner. I drank a lot of caffeine. So I really feel like going from that much caffeine to nothing contributed to having headaches really badly. But it also said on my apps that headaches were a part of pregnancy. So if you don't know while you're pregnant, you can't take most medicines. And I mean like 99% of them, you can take Tylenol and that's it. And even that kind of scared me. I didn't really want to take any medicines unless I was like really, really dying. So I was trying to find other things that would help headaches. One of them was this eye mask. This helped so much. There's like a soft felt on this side and then like the plasticky side over here. This really, really helped me. I would get the worst eyeball, temple, front, forehead headaches ever. So I would usually take like a cold rag, but that would get really warm within like seconds. So I bought this on Amazon. I believe it was only $11. I'll have everything linked below that I can still find. Um, but yeah, this really helped. Every single time I had a headache, I threw this on and it would just make me feel so much better. And then for the obvious, when you find out you're pregnant, you start taking prenatals. And actually they suggest that you start taking them six months before you even plan to get pregnant. I did not do that. I was taking them probably like a month beforehand and I wasn't very good with them. I was taking them like whenever I think about it, I was not good before I was pregnant. Like now I take them every single day. But I had a really hard time finding what ones I wanted 
There's so many different kinds, but I ended up going with Pink Stork. This is the Total Prenatal Plus DHA. That was one thing my doctor told me, my OB, she said, find something that has a DHA in it or else you have to take a second pill, which I did not want. Um, this, it, look into it, talk with your doctor. Obviously I'm not a doctor, so don't just buy these and think that they're gonna work for you. I don't know. Talk to your doctor. My doctor really didn't care. She's like, as long as they're working for you and you have something that has enough vitamins in them, like, I don't care what you're taking. So I found these online. Um, I get them from Amazon. They also have a lot of their brand at Target now, but I actually haven't found the prenatals there. But um, there's it basically her story is really great. It's a mom that had like three kids and she almost died with them because like her levels were so off or something like that. I'll link her story down below because I might be butchering it. But basically her she came out with her own prenatal. She looked for the best ingredients and things and everything that would help even like an upset stomach to put into these and everything is natural even the casing on them and they're really really good i never got sick from them which is another fear of mine i was like i don't want to take this vitamin and get sick and nauseous and upset stomach or constipated i never had anything with these so i highly suggest these but again talk to your doctor first do your own research but this is what i'm going with having a good water bottle or a cup Tumbler, anything like that is crucial when you're pregnant because you're supposed to be drinking tons and tons of water. That's something, admittedly, I'm not that good at, to be honest. I do drink a lot more water than I did beforehand, but I'm still not drinking enough that they, you know, like that they say, I think she said like two gallons a day or a gallon, maybe it was a gallon, two gallons is a lot. I think it was a gallon of water a day. I'm definitely not drinking that much. I have really increased my water intake since being pregnant and I really owe it to holding a water bottle at all times with me. If you have water on hand, you just drink it more often rather than like thinking to get up and get it. So like if you just carry something around with you with an ice water in it, you're going to be drinking it more and you're going to be more noticeable of how much water you're drinking throughout the day, how many times you're filling it. So this is just one of many that I have. This is one that was clean. This is I got this from Etsy. It's just like I got all these for my bridesmaids and myself. But yeah, I definitely suggest a good cup. I use my Yeti a lot because that keeps it cold all day. I have to have ice cold water or else I won't drink it. So these ones don't hold ice that long. Like it's not going to keep it really cold. But my Yetis, my Starbucks one, um, that's probably the only ones that like keep them really cold. But definitely get yourself a really good cup or a couple of them because one thing that I do is once it's dirty, I don't do it again. Like I don't do the like I don't want to wash it by hand because I'm just lazy. <laughs> but honestly, get yourself a couple cups that you can keep carry water all day with you. So another unpleasant thing about pregnancy that a lot of people I feel like didn't talk about, and maybe I was just one of the few that experienced this. Obviously, in your first trimester, your hormones are going a little bit crazy, and you break out. Some people don't. My skin freaked out and I mean like it went nuts and not just on my face which is what I'm getting to so obviously my skin broke out really really badly and it did clear up and actually now my skin's probably better than it's been in years um I think my hormones finally leveled out so I'm hoping that this continues after my pregnancy because I've been having really really good skin but something that I still struggle with to this day is really bad acne on my back and my shoulders I had this when I was a teenager I hated it, I was so embarrassed and self-conscious of it, but it was something that unfortunately I had to deal with. So one thing that really helped me was getting this Neutrogena Body Clear Body Wash Pink Grapefruit. This has like um, little like exfoliating beads in it. And I know a lot of people say that those aren't good and I know they're not good for your face. I don't think that these are the type that they're talking about. I mean, these are way too big to get sucked into pores and this is for your body. I put this on a loofah so I'm not like pressing in with my fingers. Um, but it says on here that it's a blast of grapefruit plus vitamin C. Um, it helps clear body breakouts, especially developed to treat body breakouts such as those on your back, shoulders and chest without ever over drying, which is great. I use this all the time. This is like my second bottle and I still use it to this day. There is like acne medicine in this so I did clear this past my doctor. Whenever I put something on my body that wasn't natural or anything like that while pregnant I always ran it by my doctor so I suggest doing the same thing um, but she said it was fine because again talk to your doctor before trying this out um, but yeah this has really helped me out. It didn't get rid of it completely but it definitely toned it down a lot which is 
better than nothing. Same with like the shower body care process of pregnancy. These two things have been God sent to me. If you guys watch my videos, I always talk about how my skin is super dry. I'm always complaining about that. So of course, when pregnancy hit, I became drier. Who would have known? I watched a ton of videos that other people posted on what they used for their own skin or stretch marks prevention because obviously I didn't want to get stretch marks. And a lot of people recommended the Burt's Bees Mama Bee Nourishing Body Oil. I got this from Amazon. It was only like five or six dollars and it smells like lemons. It's so good. It's so nourishing. I've been using this since like the second trimester, I want to say. And knock on wood. I still have no stretch marks. So I'm not saying I'm not out of the woods yet, but I feel like this has a lot to do with it because whenever my skin gets tight or itchy or dry feeling, I run and I put this on and I try not to itch it dry. I mean, obviously I do sometimes, but I try not to and this really, really helps that out. Another thing for the first trimester that I highly suggest is keeping crackers or or like graham crackers on you at all times or like granola bars in your purse or by your bed because if you go hung, if you go without food for a really long time it like makes your stomach get really upset you can get acid reflux or get nauseous a few of my friends got really bad morning sickness and they swore by crackers they had them with them at all times they put them in their bed stand like literally before they would even get out of bed they'd be rolling over and eating crackers because it's something in your stomach is always going to help. Even if you're super, super nauseous, you still need to force a cracker down because it will help. Like I said, I never got really bad. I never actually got sick, but I did feel sick sometimes if I wasn't eating enough food or if like my stomach went empty for too long. So I did always keep like crackers. Club crackers were my favorite. I can't eat club crackers anymore or either of these things actually because I have gestational diabetes. This is just what I had in my house. But crackers of any kind, granola bars, anything basically that's quick to eat and put in your stomach is good. Now, moving on to like the clothing part. The, if you take anything from this video, take this. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't be able to live without any of these items that I'm looking at right now. So I wouldn't be able to say like, just take one thing. But the clothing part is such a huge part that I feel like a lot of people skip out on because they don't want to spend the money or they find it not necessary or they wait till the very last minute. I did that for pants. Take it from me, buy the pants as soon as you start feeling uncomfortable because you're gonna end up buying them anyways. You're gonna end up spending the money anyways. And you could have just like helped yourself be more comfortable early on because pregnancy is uncomfortable to begin with. A lot of shit is changing. You wanna feel good about yourself. You wanna feel good in your clothes, especially if you're working and you have to be out with people and you can't just live in sweatpants all day buy the pants, buy the clothes that fit you that are made for pregnancy because it is life-changing. I think I went to 15 weeks before I bought pants and I, as soon as I bought them, I was so mad at myself. I'm like, why didn't I just buy this beforehand? Because I've been miserable for weeks now. I was so bloated. I didn't have like an actual like belly yet. Like now I have a belly. But back then I definitely was bloated. I did have a bump and my double zeros were not cutting it. I, I actually took like a hair ties and like I extended, which I do suggest like when you're first starting out, pregnancy pants and leggings are not gonna fit you. So definitely use that or like the belly extenders, but those only last for so long because you're growing pretty quickly, or at least I did. Two stores I got all of my maternity clothes from and I didn't get that much. I basically just got like a lot of necessities and like staples. Old Navy and Target. So these pants are from Old Navy. They look like normal jeans. The band that goes over top of your belly. And I like these ones because they have the buttons still. So if you're wearing like a sweater that goes to like here, you're not gonna be able to tell that these are pregnancy jeans. So I have another pair that doesn't have this. It kind of just goes like this, but I don't like those as much. These ones were much more comfortable and I was able to wear them all the way through. You can always roll this part down as well, but I liked having the support up. These jeans were like 40 or $50, I wanna say, but I did not spend that, never spend full price at Old Navy. They always do like 30% off online, 50% off online. I ended up getting these for like $18 because I had like rewards or something and then they had like 50% off of everything. So I think they went to like $20, I don't know, regardless. $20 for a good pair of maternity jeans is worth every single penny because you're gonna be wearing these a lot. So I got two pairs of jeans that day that I kind of just like switched in between back and forth with my leggings and that was more than enough for me. I didn't get those jeans until I was like 20 weeks, which is another thing. I'm like, I should've just got them when I was like around 15 weeks because 
I waited so long and I was only wearing leggings. The first thing that I ever bought when I was 15 weeks were maternity leggings. I got them from Target. I got two pairs of just normal black ones. They're the most comfortable, softest material leggings ever. They're really stretchy. They're not like that cotton that's gonna like ball up or and they're not see-through. Those were a lot more money than those jeans. They were like $35 a pair. I got two pairs. But again, so worth it. I'm still wearing those like every single day. I'm actually not wearing the jeans as much anymore just because I have a sit down job and I'm so big that they're just not comfortable. I'm still living in those leggings. So I have four pairs of pants that I just kind of rotate continuously and that was more than enough for me. Before getting pregnant, I only wore Victoria's Secret bras. And I mean like I only had Victoria's Secret bras. All of them were like 50 or $60. And as soon as I got pregnant, my boobs started just growing and getting a lot bigger. So I couldn't fit into those anymore. And I was not about to keep on spending 60 to $70 $50 even per bra and not knowing like when they were gonna stop growing. So I went to Target and I got a few of these by the brand Auden. Don't mind this, it's actually just makeup because I just put it on my makeup desk. But there's no wires in here, which is so comfortable. Like you can just swish this all up. And that is so key because when you're first pregnant and all the way through, your boobs hurt so badly. So this was amazing for that because there's nothing digging in on you. It's so comfortable. And these were only $15. I got like four different sizes because I've continuously grown. So I'm so glad that I did not waste my money getting like expensive bras again. And honestly, I'm probably not going to buy those bras at all anymore after I'm done being pregnant because these are really good. They give a lot of support and they're so comfortable and cheap. Also with this one in particular, this is actually a nursing bra. They have these for nursing and then just like regular ones. So it clasps down. The last time that I just sized up, this is I think like a 36C. Um, I just started getting the nursing ones because I'm gonna be needing them anyways. So now I just wear nursing bras. I mean, you can't tell the difference. They're the same identical bra besides the fact that it just folds down. Also the last time that I was there, I got this, which I highly recommend, don't mind, because I actually was wearing this earlier, so there's deodorant on it. <laughs> but um, this is like a sports bra, cami kind of um, nursing bra. So it's by the same brand, it's by Auden. I got these in a size medium. They fit perfectly, they're super comfortable. And basically you just like take the arm down and it has like this cross in the middle that makes it easy for if you're nursing. And these are just really comfortable just to wear if I don't wanna put a bra on because like I said, my boobs are big and I'm not trying to squish them into a bra every single day if I don't need to. So these are good if I'm wearing like a sweater or just if there's someone over and I don't wanna put a bra on. And this came in a pack of two. It was a black one and a nude one, and it was only $20. So I think that's a really good deal. I'm probably gonna go back and get like one or two more packs of these because after birth, I'm definitely gonna be living in these. And I probably am not gonna put something like this on unless I'm going out. Another huge shift that I have when it comes to clothing for maternity clothes, I did not wanna spend a lot of money. I had the money, I would definitely want to because I like feeling good in my clothes. I like having a lot of different things to wear. I just didn't want to waste like hundreds and hundreds of dollars because the maternity clothes is outrageously priced it's insane like i would never even spend that kind of price clothing on normal everyday clothes that i can wear forever like 35 dollars for a pair of leggings i don't even have a pair of leggings for 35 dollars, but i had to get them for pregnancy because they fit so one of the things that has really helped me this whole entire time was getting a lot of good staple basics and then kind of just pairing it with clothes that i already had that i'm not going to be able to outgrow so i bought two black tank tops like the wife beaters two white ones this is actually a um long sleeve v-neck maternity shirt i have it in black and white all of this is from old navy and then i just pair it with like cardigans or sweater that i'm obviously not going to outgrow because it's not clothes and i can just throw this over top of it and it really makes it like it's not noticeable that you're wearing the same shirts all the time because you're wearing something over top of it which changes out the whole entire look so i think these are only like 12 dollars to begin with and these are really really good material like i said they're not see-through they're really tight which i like um, they're not like a weird fit on like the shoulders or anything like that So I have two black two white and then these ones. They're not my favorite. They are kind of a little bit like a little bit looser Like underneath my boob area. So they're not the best fitting ones, but they're still really good Especially for winter and I just pair it with like a cardigan So I really suggest doing that just buy like a bunch of staples and you can always just change it out with other like cover-up 
tops or jackets or denim jackets, stuff like that. And lastly for clothing, I did end up going out and buying a few actual shirts for maternity clothes. I think I have like four. Um, all of it, again, Old Navy or Target. I feel like they have like the best items for the cheapest. This one was from Old Navy. This is actually one of the first ones that I bought. I bought this with the leggings when I was like 15 weeks. <laughs> I'll insert a picture here and I was like, oh my God, I'm so big. No. I'm not. I was not at that time. So this is by Isabel Maternity. It's Ingrid and Isabel, which is actually the same brand that the leggings were, but those are dirty right now, so I can't show you them. But this, it's like a really long tunic. All maternity clothes have the bunching on the side. That way when you're growing, it grows with you. But this is really nice. I think it was only like $25 and I still fit into this. So it fit me at 20 or it fit me at 15 weeks and I'm 35 now and I still am able to wear this. So this was a really good buy. This I got from Old Navy. It's just like a button Henley and it's like a thermal kind of material. Again, has the bunching on the sides. All of the maternity clothes have the bunching on the side, but that's good. You want it too, so you can keep growing with it and it's not gonna get too tight on you. Um, they all have really good length, which again, definitely need because it's going over a big area. And this, I think I got for like $11 because it was on sale. So this fits really nicely. It's like three quarter sleeves. I really like both of these and these are good to pair with jeans or your leggings or just throw something on top of it. But if you are gonna get a few shirts that aren't like staples and like everyday wears, go, definitely go to Old Navy, they're the cheapest. And for my last pregnancy must have, I can't even bring it into this video because you wouldn't be able to fit it all in here. It is a pregnancy pillow. That was the best purchase I could have ever bought. It was on Amazon, I think I got it for like $70 or maybe 60. I think I got it for like $60 actually. Best purchase ever, I got that when I was around like 15, 16 weeks when start, sleeping started to get uncomfortable. That changed the game for me. I am so comfortable at night. Even now, like I'm, nothing is gonna help me get comfortable like I used to, but I would not be able to even sleep what a minute without that pillow. It's like the U-shaped one. It just hugs every part of your body. You're able to put your arms around it, your legs over top of it. It goes around your back. And it, I like the U-shaped ones because I flip-flop a lot through the night. So I don't have to like pick up an entire pillow and move it over with me. Some of them are just like one-sided. That would, that would be too much. I can just roll to the next side, which isn't easy anymore by any means. But at least there's another pillow on the side that I can just grab onto. It does take up a lot of the bed. Um, if we didn't have a king size bed, we both wouldn't be able to fit in there with that pillow for sure. Like even with our king size bed and my dog, it takes a lot of room. Um, but if you guys have the room you want to get something that is going to help you sleeping, I highly suggest that one. It's amazing. And I think that is it for my pregnancy must haves. I feel like there was like a lot of products that I have here, but I feel like a lot of them people probably have in their house already, like crackers, gel masks or water bottles, but all of them really help, helped me out. If you guys are currently pregnant and you guys have any must-haves that you couldn't live without, please put them down below, help other people out. Maybe I'll pick some of them up because again, I'm always looking for something to make my life a little bit easier. So always leave your comments down below, start a good conversation. If you guys are newly pregnant, congratulations. It is so exciting, it's such a good time. There's a lot of things that people will say negative about being pregnant, but it's such a blessing and it's going to be so worth it in the end. But I hope that some of these things might help you get over whatever you're experiencing, but things that may not be as pleasant. That's all I got to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helped some of you guys out. Like I said, always leave comments down below if you have items that you guys are liking and that have helped you in your pregnancy. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification down below. That way you guys don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.